Hello and welcome everybody, my name is Tam Wells and today I'm going to talk about Azure Side of Spark, Delta Tables and Time Travel. In the new Spark Runtime 3.3 we are now able to time travel using the Spark SQL language in Delta Tables, which means that you can say give me a table and look at the previous versions of that table, which means if you do an update, insert or a delete, you can set Delta Table, you can see what the data looked like before and it can allow you to solve mistakes you made while altering your data. Let's say you've done an update statement without a where clause or anything like that. Those things are in the past. You can just restore them by saying uh, restore this table as version of and you can just automatically restore that table back to the version before that update. <clears throat> Next to that, you can also um, select data and see what the comparison is of a previous version of the data and this type of, uh, of the data, the new version of the data. Actually, just get the, the data that has been changed to do an incremental upload, for example, to the SQL database or anything like that, like that that you have in your reporting layer. But let me show you how that works. Here we are in my Azure Sign of Spark. Um, as you can see, I've done a little notebook here called Time Traveling and Azure Sign of Spark, and I've prepped. Uh, gold layer fact sales time travel um, table um, as you can see here it's a normal table nothing special here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to inflate all sales let's say i want to get myself a big bonus so i'm going to give 10 percent to all the sales that have happened uh, basically to just inflate that sales but this is a mistake so i, I should not be doing this uh, but it happened i did that uh, that update now what i can go and see is that with the describe command i can show uh, what has happened to this table and it tells me okay on this timestamp you can see that we had an update against the table and before that the table was created which means version 1 and version 0. Now if I go and look at the current data you can see uh, select without any other command in it you can see that it inflated the sales over here. If I now want to go and look what the data looked before that update I can go and say uh, version as of 0 and it will show me the data like it was before. As you can see here, we've got 9.8 here for sales ID 1 and 8.25 here for sales ID 1. So it's basically the two versions of the data that we see here. Now, let's say version 1 is wrong. I want to restore back to version 0. It's really easy to do. You just say, hey, restore the table to version as of 0, which means we're going to go back to the first version. So when we initially created that table, what will happen is can see over here it, if we look at the describe it will have the initial one which is at zero the one which had the update and the version two is the restore now can we still read that data of that update um, yes you can by using the version as of one but if you select the current version you can see that it went back to that old sales value and the version as of one is to that inflated sales amount but that's how you basically work with those uh, different versions inside uh, Sign of Spark. Um, you can also do that in, in PySpark. You can do that using Spark SQL. I've shown you now the Spark SQL example, but there's nothing holding you back to actually doing that with a different language. So basically, this means that with time travel, you can actually really easily go back to a previous version of your data in case if, that you made a mistake. There's also a good use case, with it, which I see at a lot of customers, is where people get the difference between two versions of the data and only upload that difference between those two versions to their final dimensional models into their factor day. Their dimension tables in, for example, a dedicated SQL pool or a serverless uh, or a SQL DB or anything like that. Now, if this was the first time you're visiting our channel and you liked the video, just give us a big thumbs up. Um, if you like to if you like to see more of this com uh, content, we have loads of different uh, videos on here. Just subscribe to the channel, uh, and if you have any other questions, just write it in the comments, and we'll definitely get back to you. As always, from the side of the personal team, this is Stan, and thank you for watching. Bye.